This is Hangzhou Bay in eastern China. Here, China is building the world's longest cross-sea high-speed railway bridge. Stretching nearly 30 kilometers, the project reached a major milestone on Friday. Its first main tower was successfully topped out. This main tower rises 200 meters above the sea. That's the height of an 80-story building. But right below, the water is anything but calm. The bridge spans one of the world's strongest tidal bays. It's home to the famous Qiantang River Tidal War. Offshore construction is especially challenging. The tide here can change by almost 9 meters in a single day. But this bridge is designed to meet the standard for a 350 km per hour high-speed rail, with each pier having a service life of 100 years. This presents a huge challenge. Construction teams have built a stable offshore working platform, effectively creating a land base at sea. At the same time, smart engineering technologies are playing a critical role. I joined project manager Jiang Benjun to see how they work. This system allows us to fully sense real-time conditions. Everyone, from managers to on-site workers, can instantly adjust operations for safety. All systems are independently developed in China. When complete, the bridge will set five world records in crossy rail engineering. As of now, the total investment in the bridge has reached 11.2 billion yuan, with 75% of the work completed. The bridge is expected to be fully connected by September this year. The entire project is set to be operational by the end of 2027. Once completed, high-speed trains will cross Hangzhou Bay in just around 10 minutes. And the impact goes beyond speed. The bridge will significantly enhance connectivity and support high-quality integrated development across the Yangtze River Delta, one of China's most dynamic economic regions.